In this video, I'll show you how to automatically add subtitles to your videos in DaVinci Resolve Studio 18.5 Beta 1. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, DaVinci Resolve recently uh, put out an update to DaVinci Resolve Studio 18 and there's a beta version uh, that is 18.5 Beta 1 and it's now possible to create subtitles from audio or basically auto-generate subtitles for your videos. Now, I have a video footage right here that I can use. I'll just drag it and drop it right here, change the frame rate and so on and so forth. Next up, I'll just uh, create a new timeline using the selected clip and then just click on create. There's nothing much I need to do there. I can bring this down slightly. That's our video. It's short. Next up, I want to create the subtitles. I'll go up to timeline, click on create subtitles from audio. And once I do that, I'll need to make any changes I need here. As for the language, at the time of recording this tutorial, English is the only supported language. Hopefully they'll add more in future. And then we've got a couple of caption presets that you can uh, work with. Subtitle default, teletext or Netflix. I'll go with subtitle default. And for the maximum characters per line, I'll choose 37. That looks good. And then once I'm done, I'll click on create. It's going to initialize and do everything it does in the background. Just a quick disclaimer, this is only available in DaVinci Resolve Studio, nor DaVinci Resolve, the free version. So it's already done super, super fast. And we can play this uh, and see what we get. In this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks, Reels, super fast using the script. We are going to be adding emojis, capitalizing certain words that you like to do, that you like to capitalize, the Alex Amosi style, and everything that you like to see. Stick around to the end, I'll show you how to make this super, super fast. Thanks for watching, and let's begin. It's done a really good job. Awesome. The punctuation is okay, capitalization of words, beginning of sentences, and so on and so forth. Probably just one miss here for the it's Alex Amosi, somewhere right about here, this particular subtitle. And I can just click on it, and then just come here, and then make it uh, uh, the correct, uh, correct that particular sentence. Now, that looks really good. We can do all the editing to the subtitles that we'd like to do. For example, I can just highlight all the subtitles and go up to the track right here. And this is pulled up when you go to the inspector. If you click this, and then you'll see these options here uh, with your selections. For example, if I do this, we can go to the track here and then make maybe a couple of changes. Uh, one thing I'd love is to have this uh, with a background. So I'll just come up to here, turn on the background, and by default, it's going to take the color that is there, which is black. And then the opacity is at 50%. Looks really good. If you bump it up to the end, it's going to be completely dark. But uh, we want it. Let's reset, actually, that to 50%. We can actually change the color. And let's say we go with something like this. You can choose a uh, finer color here, or if you have uh, more or less a hex code, uh, you can uh, input it right there to keep up with the branding of uh, your projects. Click OK. And because we've selected all the subtitles, your style is going to be applied. Your style is going to be applied across the board. Looks really good. And I can just play it. In this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social. Looks really, really good. But that is how you can auto-generate subtitles for your videos or basically create subtitles from audio in DaVinci Resolve Studio 18.5 Beta 1 moving forward. It's going to become the basic. Uh, sorry for the people who are using DaVinci Resolve Free. This is not yet available, but you can use applications like Subtitle Edit to generate the SRT subtitle file and bring it in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.